You that men are really crazy. Can you imagine just because that one is buying me stuff and taking care of my needs? Mm -hmm. He's not talking to me about love and relationship. Yvonne, I truly don't see what is wrong in that. I don't see what is wrong in a guy loving you and wanting to be in a relationship with you. I mean, that means that he likes you. I beg, no, no, no. He likes who? Ha. Why would he like me? Babe, firstly, this guy we are talking about is a student. Secondly, he's so cute and we both know how irresponsible cute guys can be. They can't keep one girl. Okay, just take Jay in your department as an example. Do you see how stupidly he lives his life? Me, I am not about to give someone any chance to break my heart. You know the stories of my heartbreak in this campus now. And after all, I was sent here to come and study. Let me not go and present certificate of high BP to my mama. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So let me now ask you. You think that flirting with each guy that comes your way and jumping from one house to another is the right thing to do? At least it's better than you that is been served breakfast every now and then. Babe, even for lunch and dinner, they're serving you breakfast. Yeah, let it be, let <laughs> it be. Me, I still believe in love and I believe that love will come to those that believe. True love will find me one day. Anyways, you shall be better than you that is flying from point A to point B. You know, if not for one thing, I will just give you slap now. Are you, are you even listening to yourself? Mm -mm. Love, 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 love. It boils down to everyone doing what works for them. As for me, I am not about to let any son of Adam break my heart again. And as for you, my dear sister, good luck finding your love. If it exists. Of course it exists, babe. What are you talking about? See, I don't like the way you're handling this situation. No? I don't like the way you're going. I don't like your, your, your mentality about it at all. Let me just tell you the truth. See, let me be honest with you. Your body is supposed to be your pride. Like, ah, ah. Don't be giving it out anyhow like that. It's not good. My sister, now you say that one. That is absolutely none of my business. As for me, I am going to go prepare for club. Hey, but do enter my body. You do here, and to love a lover. And as for me, I'll be here drinking water and minding my business. Thank you so much for today. You really made my day. I had so much fun. I should be the one thanking you. I would have had just a regular boring day, but you made it so much fun. I wish I could pause time and repeat this day over and over <laughs> again. Yvonne, you're so beautiful. Today has been the luckiest day I've had all year. I'm going to treasure it forever. We could make it more treasure worthy.
Hey beautiful. Good morning. How are you? I brought breakfast. Breakfast? You didn't have to. Of course I did. You must be famished. Is this how you treat every random girl you meet? No. I don't treat random girls like this. Just you. I don't understand. I mean, the night is over, so I need to go. I told you something at the restaurant. I really like you, and I'd like us to take it a step forward. Please just stop it right there. Just stop it. We don't do love over here. And this is not going any further than where it is right now. Love or relationship is not in my dictionary. I thought we had something going on here. I mean, we made love last night. Doesn't that count for something? Okay, I know the way we met made, made it seem like a fling or something, but believe me, it's not that. I really, really do have feelings for you. <laughs> okay, please snap out of it. This is a no love zone. It's strictly just snacks, crews, and vibes, and that is it. Sight, I fell for her. The type of feeling I felt when I saw her was out of the world. I can't even remember the last time I felt that way just by looking at someone. And I really thought we connected. Yeah. She spoke to me in ways that suggested the feeling might be mutual. Was it all a ploy? What kind of trashy attitude was that now? I mean, she trying to test me. Baby, you need to see this guy. I met this fine guy at the club. Baby, this guy is fine. This guy is not just fine. This guy is hot. This guy is sexy. This guy is going to get smacked up to me. <laughs> Ah, it was your girl now. I said, this guy cannot pass me. I said, I must, I must knock him. So babe, I followed this guy to his house. Why are you laughing? Babe, this guy is not just fine. This guy is a sexy man. Hey! <laughs> babe, this guy knew what to do. He knew how to do it and when to do it. This guy was perfect. Mm. Ah, babe, you may want to give me your friend. <laughs> I enjoyed myself to the fullest. Hey! So this is why you didn't come for lecture? My general vex are big. I just had to, had to finish what I started now, but I didn't know before I would. Hmm. But Yvonne, I don't know how you do it all. Like, how do you meet someone for the first time and you're already so free with the person? I better live English, my dear. It's not a big deal now. I mean, this is the kind of life that girls that don't want to get entangled in relationships that will break your heart in the end. This is the kind of life you live. And, be my big, I came to enjoy myself. I don't want stress. So I beg, I beg. No stress me. Oh. This girl is for phone only. Hey, hey, excuse me, please. Um, I'm actually heading somewhere, but my car is overheating and I really need water badly. But there's no, there's no way I can get what's around here. Oh. I don't know if you can help me. Um, sure. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Here you go. Oh my God, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you very much, this means a lot. No problem. This is Joanne's house, right? Yes, it is. Why? Okay, so I gave her a lift earlier today to school and um, she forgot this. Oh, okay. I will hand it over to her. Thank you. Alright, you're welcome. gave me a lift this morning to school. I was in such a hurry. <laughs> it was when I wanted to drink my infused water that I remembered I left it in his car. And I don't even know who he is. I don't know how to reach him or whatever. So, my dear, I could left the matter. <clears throat> that guy is fine, Sha. Well, I just hope returning the bottle is all he wants. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't have time for you and this your wahala. I mean, you can't even tell the guy thank you for, for, for bringing the water and appreciate it for that. You have to sound like my mother. Are you my mother? No, be so you did start. First of all, he gave you a lift and now he returned bottle. The next thing I will start preaching love to you. I love you. No, be so. That's why they start now. Well, buy it, Jerry. Go, don't buy me. Come back. That's so. I'm telling you now, you won't listen to me. Hi. Hi. Are you stalking me? Oh, no, not at all. I, it's, it's a coincidence, I guess. A coincidence in front of my gate? Hi. You caught me. Look, I just want to give you relief, nothing more. Why? Let's just say that I, I think it's a taboo for a gorgeous damsel like you to be working under the sun every day, you know. I don't mind. The school is not so far from here anyways. And I... I volunteer to be your personal cab driver. No, 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 no. That's fine. I mean, it, you don't have to. Look, look, this is something that anyone can do for anyone. And I want to do it for you. Please. Okay, cool. Awesome. <laughs> I saw what you posted that you were craving, so I decided to get it for you. Oh, thank you. This is so nice and thoughtful of you. So, Yvonne, have you had time to think about what we discussed the other time? What's that? About you and I. 
Oh, please, come on, Dylan. I've told you I can't do what you're asking of me. And besides, I gave you a perfect option that works for us. Please stop talking about this love thing. I don't do love. And if this is why you got this, you might as well just take it back. No, 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 it's fine. You can have it. It's just, you can have it. It's okay. Thank you. And if that's all, I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah. All right, take care. You too. Bye. What are you still doing now? Time is going. Just give me a few minutes, I'll be out soon. A few minutes? You know how long I've been here? I'm so sorry I'm late. Man, you can't prepare for Africa. I'm sorry. What? Your lips. What, what, is, what is wrong with it? Uh, uh. Was it that bad? Check it out. <laughs> Thank you. I was in a hurry now. It's not because of you. But we can go now. Let's go, baby. Oh, wow. Huh? My God. Oh, what is it? The quiz that I was hurrying to go and meet. They just sent a message to our group chat now that the lecturer has postponed it. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know that because of this quiz, I did not sleep all through the night. I was busy reading and reading and reading just so that I can, you know, meet up the questions. Because this lecturer, I tell you, is so mean. Uh -huh. Like, the guy can literally bring out questions from anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I had to cover literally all the things he taught us this semester. Yeah. And now he has gone to postpone it. For something that I did not sleep and I did not even eat this morning. First of all, I'll say, Bele, when is the quiz finally going to be? I think he postponed it for like two, two hours. Just two hours? Yep. Oh. My lecture is actually in two hours' time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but you told me that you were going to school just now. No? Have you forgotten the reason why I'm going to school? I'm going to drop you off now. I'm your personal cab driver. You forgot it. <laughs> All right. So, as it is right now, what are we going to do with the remaining time? Because there's some free time, you know. Hmm. I don't know. But I am hungry. Right, <laughs> I swear. I know. <laughs> Anyways, there's some cool sport that I can take you to, you know. They have very nice meals. I don't really like eating now because I feel like all these restaurants are now so cool, to be uh, honest. Mado, a real chefness. <laughs> so, okay. Do you want to go home then? Yeah, it would have made sense if we could go back home and just, you know, have me cook something. But I don't know. Well, okay. Reversion already then. Alright. What am I here for? Welcome to the kitchen. I know, right? Forgive me. You are bragging. This is. Oh my god, I have confirmed you right now. Super duper. Thank you. I think I want to give this for the chief dancer. Odogu. <laughs> so good. That's so silly. Whenever I look at you talk about school and lectures and all, the vibe I get is that you are this you know, first class material kind of student, you know. I mean, that's the goal. Well, man, that kind of reminds me, when I was in 100 level, my friends and I had this goal that we're going to have first class. Mm. After 100 level, 200 level, or more, shit God had, instead of saying God, I beg. God, even if it's 2-1, two, 2-2, two, two, manage. <laughs> I'm being very honest. You're apparently rich, so you can always sort your way out. I mean, you drive a car now. 
And I'm sure those lecturers are already exploiting you as it is. Well, I, I don't do sorting, first of all. And uh, the car is not really mine. It's actually for a friend. Your friend? Yeah. So your friend allows you to drive the car all the time? Well, my friend is not in town, so I drive the car in the meantime. My friend must be a super friend. Can say that again. <laughs> Look, always talking about me being a rich kid, hmm? Look at what you think. I mean, this is very good. This is not even for students at all. So who's the rich kid here, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Let's take a step back. You see this? This is my friend's brother's house. It's not mine. He built it and then traveled, and apparently she couldn't stay here alone, so she asked me to move in. So that's how this is. Still cool, still cool. Hmm. <laughs> So back to this topic. I mean, look, I'm still really, really pondering. How can the food be this delicious? <laughs> now, now it's, this food is literally leading me to a hypothesis that anybody that dares to try this sumptuous meal would ever stick around. <laughs> no, 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 I'm actually talking like a professor right now because this is what I'm saying. This food is really, really dope. Now you're putting so much power and importance to my meal. So are you saying that a guy will stay because of my food? Well, it wasn't Jeff that said that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> Isn't that a bit outdated? Well, I don't think so because I feel it's golden, you know, and it never goes out of fashion, especially for dudes like me that appreciate sumptuous meals, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this one. No, don't mind me. I like food. I can tell. Hi. Do you want something to eat? No, I'm fine. Okay. That's your... That's my... flat meat. Yeah. I met her the other day that I bought your... stuff. So do you want more rice? Hello? Yeah, who's this? It's Wilson. Sorry, I don't think I know who that is. Wilson, the guy from the bar from the other night. Oh, how did you get my number? You gave me your number that night, don't you remember? Okay, so how can I help you? What do you want? I want us to see you. I want us to talk. See and talk about what? I know they do all these relationship things, I beg. I don't have the time and energy for that. I beg, I beg. I don't have the time. Hello? Who does this girl think she is? I'm not going to get up that easily. Switched off? Hey, hey, here we man. These admin staff are something else. I mean, they just like to make students suffer. Because tell me why I would go to the admin office and I can clearly see the woman sitting behind her desk and she will still tell us that she's not around. I mean, madam, if you're not there, who can't they talk? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the admin for you. They could stress you like saying to get admission in a crime mode. <sighs> Thank God that you were there to actually drop me off because I almost fainted. I'm not even going to lie to you. Thank you so much. It's fine, Ja. So what if we go somewhere nice during the weekend? I mean, just to ease the stress. Yes, now the stress you've gone through this week. Are you asking me out on a date? You know I don't like to eat in the restaurants, right? Come on, Joe. I've already mapped out lots of fun activities that we're going to have. I would think about it. I'm sure you're going to enjoy them. I'm not even bothering you. I'll just come to the house, bully you and bundle you myself. Be good. <laughs> Alright, okay. You're so silly. Mm -hmm. All right, bye. Yeah. <laughs>
Why are you trying so hard? Because you've whooped my ass like five nah, times nah. now. I'm not about to let you do the I'm same thing. I'm literally using one. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> don't! Nah, no, you, you have to. Don't, don't, don't even try to I touch my I sincerely hate this. I, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Yay! I finally get one goal. <laughs> After 15 years, but I mean, I'll take my win. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's what's up. 14-1. <laughs> oh my god, that was. Sorry, babe, I can't, I can't keep Honestly, doing this you to you. Suck, I can't keep doing this to you. Let's, let's end it already. Ah, oh, 15-1, babes. You tried it. I honestly it. feel like I'm never ever playing any game with you again, I swear. <laughs> Just play one more. Man. No, I'm not. Oh, God. Why are you staring at me like that? Uh, I, I think there's something on your face. What is on my face? <laughs> Look at me. It's beauty. You're so beautiful. Extremely. You know this thing they say about outer beauty and inner beauty? This time around, it's two in one. Yeah, I'm going to be very real with you. You know, sometimes they say it's all about the inner beauty. But this time around, I'm looking at a human being that is Inner beauty personified, coated with outer beauty. <sighs> You're so beautiful. And look, I love your soul. I love your heart. I love you, like the you. John, I really want you to be my girlfriend. <sighs> Please. Took you long enough. Uh, <laughs> is that a yes? Yes. Just call and confirm. Hi, I'm at the address you gave me. Okay. Welcome. Come inside. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Okay. Is this where you live? Yes, this is where I stay. Come on in. Okay. What's the problem? You sounded so urgent on phone. There's some problem. There's there's a little problem. Okay. Actually, it's a very big problem. Okay. What is it? I missed Dr. Solo's quiz yesterday. So I came to know if that's a way you can help me out. Sincerely, I don't think there's anything I can help you with. You know Dr. Soluna, you know how he is. You know Dr. Soluna, you know he's a hard nut to crack. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. So well, Nadia, you're the course right now. You can help me out. Just help me talk to him. Or better still, if he wants money, I can drop any amount. I also heard that lecturers do allow students write quiz in their office. I don't mind doing that. I just don't want to carry this course over. Please, just help me. Say sincerely, if he happens to be another lecturer, I would have tried. But you know, that man is very strict and disciplined. And trust me, I don't want to be on his blacklist. I can't even go to his office to liaise on your behalf. He will give me a truckload of insults. If you had told me that this was why you were coming to my house, I would have told you to save yourself the chance. But because, hmm. or better still, give it a try. Go meet him, play with him, something. Maybe he can give you a second chance. Nadia, I have done that. I went to this man's office and guess what? This man gave me serious warning and insult. He said I shouldn't come back for any reason. I can imagine. That man, that's how he is. But I don't know. See, the only advice I will give you now is the upcoming exam. 
put your best in preparing for that exam so that you can avoid this with a pass because hmm, I don't know what to do. I don't think I can help you, please. I saw a girl that just walked out of here. Mm, she seemed yeah. a bit upset. Is everything okay? Yeah, she's my classmate though. She came to ask for my help. With what? She missed the quiz yesterday and she wants me to help her talk to the lecturer. Which one? You know the man, uh, Dr. Solomon Bolaji. Solo Bobo? Yes, that one. That one. <laughs> no, it's too tough. The man, I cannot. I, I declined though. I know if it's. I declined. Okay, well, hope you had a nice day. I did though. Being a coach you know, easy, but I love the job. <laughs> All right now, me. I'll just go to my room now. Okay, no problem. Ah. You know what's even more romantic? Hmm? What? Watching this together, hand in hand. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. Good morning, what's up? Are, are you serious? Oh my god, thank you so much. This means a lot to me. I'll be on my way now. Thank you, thank you so much. Baby, why do you have to leave? Hey, you told me you were going to stay longer. Baby, I've been here since yesterday. Come on. And so? Look, I promise I'm going to see you soon, okay? Huh? Okay. Yeah. Babe, this one that you're rushing out like this. Are you okay? I'll tell you one of them.
Hello? Hello. It is useless go. Oh, good boyfriend snatcher. You want to snatch my man. So you are the low life that has been sleeping with my boyfriend. Are you that desperate and stupid? Well, it's obvious you are both an even more. Well, I am not here to banter words with you. Listen and listen carefully. If you do not stay away from my man, if you do not stay away from Jeff, I swear to God, I will rubbish you in this campus. You would regret ever meeting Jeff in your life. Take this as a threat, warning, or whatever you want to take it as. Stay away from my Jeff. He's my and my alone. Bye. I told you this thing. I told you, but you wouldn't listen to me. I told you that men are a stupid set of people and they can never be trusted. Big men will stain your white. You just, just look at it now. This is exactly what I was trying to protect you from, but you never listened to me. I, I didn't know. I mean, how was I supposed to know? How? Ifuni was so intentional. He loved me, he cared about me. He was everything that I wanted in a man. I thought it was different. I had so much hope for him. Even I thought he loved me. Baby, you go to trust man. Man, a whole son of Adam. Men that can say and do anything just to get what they want. Babe, look, if you continue like this, your heart will see Shige burns out. This is just the beginning. Better change you. I'm so heartbroken. Everyone, I'm in so much pain. Stop, 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 stop. This is, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. You see, this thing you are doing right now, I don't like it. How can you be here crying over some stupid guy that is obviously somewhere enjoying himself? Babe, just, just stop this. Wipe your tears and just move on with your life, okay? This guy doesn't deserve your tears. Just snap out of it, Abeg. This is not about just Jeff. All I ever wanted was to love and be loved in return genuinely. And what did I get in return? A series of men cheating on me and heartbreaks. Sometimes I wonder, why did I get it wrong for me wanting to be loved? Where? Babe, just stop crying. Stop crying now. Just, just forget about this guy. He's not worthy of your tears. Eh, everything will be fine, okay? And trust me, this true love that you're looking for, you will soon find it so you rest. But for now, just put yourself together. Hmm? Just forget that idiot. Don't mind him. Stop crying, okay? Stop crying. Eh, I've been telling you to just forget about love, but you will not just listen to me. Now look at what they're doing to you. Don't ever talk about love in this house again. No? Sorry. Okay. It's okay. Sorry. You stupid man. Wait, wait, come. What, what's up? What is it? What happened? You left not long ago and now you're back like this. What's going on? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? As I was on my way going to school, one stupid girl decided to come and confront me that she's Jeff's girlfriend. And I was like, so? What business do I have with you? The next thing I knew that this girl just started raining insults on me. Eh? Babe, this girl insulted me. She insulted my parents. She insulted my generations. And I was warning this girl, I was warning this girl that she should stop, she should stop. This girl refused. Before I knew what was happening, my friend, this girl, this low life, this silly ass idiot had the audacity to lay her fingers on me. What? I dropped my home train like this on the floor and I beat the shit out of this girl. I beat her so badly that her. Hey, premium fucking beating. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. You are telling me that the girl came to fight because of that guy? Because of that silly he got! Hey, wonder shall never end. Ha! Can never be me! What the fuck? Fighting over a guy? God, I beg you. Some girls are just so barbaric with their myopic mindset. Ah, babe. 
I'm done with this relationship bullshit. Honestly speaking, I think it's not working for me. It's not for me at all. Jenny. From today, I'm dropping all that good girl home training. I'm dropping every single thing and I'm picking up the fucking bad body. I'm going to fuck with all of them, every single one of them that thought that they can be coming to me and be behaving anyhow. I will show all of them Shege in this life. Me? No, I've talking. turned into a Gen Z bad. Ah! They will see Shege ah. in this life. Now you're talking, baby girl. This is not the spirit. And listen to me, girl. I love it for you. And as a senior buddy, I welcome you to the club. Welcome, my girl. Baby girl, we'll drink to that later. But that girl, hope you give her the beating of eh? her Eh? what did you say? I trust you. You know how when they look at me, they think that I am soft and fragile until they begin to engage in the fight. I, I beat the shit out of her. In fact, I gave her a souvenir that she will always remember the day that she made the biggest mistake of her life. Me? I beat her. Hey! Look at what she did to me now. This is the only thing she got out of me. Baby girl, I trust you. Let's not even talk too much about it. Oh babe, this one our grand entrance to the body club. Eh? <laughs> you know your girl Welcome! Now. Chebby, they want to play a game. They want to play a game. We will play the game and we will best them at it. I trust you. Oh. My darling, welcome to the gang. Just do, go, go and fresh up and come down. Let's drink. They are not ready for us. We will give them. You're just telling me. I didn't know you wanted to come now. I beg you, sit down. Let me go and prepare. Let's go, men hunt. What is all this stuff? Have you come along? Hurry up, Shadow. Don't waste time. I have always trusted my instincts. Uh, I mean, I knew there was something you could do and I wasn't wrong about it. Stop it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I am so sorry I haven't been able to come and see you, but this appreciation is not a phone talk. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to Dr. Solo on my behalf. Yeah. That man, I know it was not easy talking to him, but you did it. Thank you. I didn't do anything. Your boyfriend did. My boyfriend? You're funny. You're acting as if the first time you were here, you've never been here before. Okay, so who is my boyfriend? We'll see my flatmate is your boyfriend. Yeah, he did all the talking. He talked to Mr. Solo and all that. Uh, you know, he has never done something like this before. Even with me that stays in this place with him, ever. And Mr. Solo is an uncle from his maternal side, so he cooked up his sumptuous life for you. He did it. And he told you that I'm his girlfriend? Well, he didn't say so, but trust me, he likes you. And, you know, Wilson is not the woman type. And he went all out for you, so he did that. He likes you, trust me. Well, I'll accept the gift, but I won't take a glory that's not mine. I'll just give it to him when he comes back. Oh, no, no. It's fine. You can keep it. After all, you took part in all of this. Mm, okay, thank you. It's okay. Oh, he's here. I'll just get something out Hi. Hi. Thank you for talking to Dr. Solo on my behalf. Oh, it's nothing. You're welcome. So what's your pay? What do you want in return? My pay? I don't understand. Oh, please, come on. I know you like me, and I'm also sure that you enjoyed me the last time. So when am I coming to pay you? Please stop. It's not about the money or your body or the sex. Why can't you see that I genuinely have feelings for you? Why are you acting so oblivious to it? Is it not obvious? I really don't want this to get to that point. Why? What's wrong with that? What's, what's wrong with me that you think I don't deserve love? And in this case, your love. I am not ready for it, and I can be coerced into it. Have a nice day.
Lots of men have come to me telling me they love me and so on. But why do I keep thinking about this guy? Yes, I know the sex was great and everything pleasurable, but why do I feel this sensation anytime I see him or think about him? What's this burning passion in me? What's really going on? I'm trying not to give you the chance. Even when you're a bad girl now, what love is not my thing. And that's it, girl. What is wrong with you? Can I drop you home? I'd rather not indulge you. Why? Why are you being so uptight? Does my genuine care for you mean nothing? Who demanded for your genuine care? Even why are you making this so hard for us? Look me in the eye. Tell me all of this, my care, my love, my attention, my time. Tell me they mean nothing to you. Come on, let's go. So is this what you want? What I want. You see, I think I'm doing pretty well for myself, even as a student. Sex is just a commodity that one can buy. But true love, true love is priceless. I come to you with an open heart filled with love and genuine care. And you expect me to believe that? You won't do me dirty like every other guy? And break my heart and leave me when I need you the most? Devon, I love you with every fiber in me. I love you with every beat of my heart. I'm not here to turn your world upside down. I'm here to just be here for you and love you. I cross my heart. There are no strings attached. Really? Yes, so, so because I went to his house, he suddenly thought that I was there to kickstart a relationship because I was in his house. <laughs> My friend, you should have seen this guy was just dropping bars. Hey, how he loves me so much, how he wants to be in a relationship, blah, blah, blah. My friend, if you were there, you'd have been so proud of me. I'm telling you because if you see the way I, I eyed him like this, 
and then shoved him off. <laughs> you'll be smarting now. <laughs> yeah, so, is this not what they want? This is exactly what they want, and this is exactly what they're going to be getting. Okay? They want to play games, right? I have brought them to the playground. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you expecting anybody? Oh, no, so, but... I'm not have strength. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, are you doing here, Joan? I am sorry. Look, it's not what you think. Can you just hear me out at least, please? I beg of you. I am. I am really. I am really trying to control myself before I do something stupid. But if you do not leave here this minute, you are going to be responsible for what I do to you. Now get out of my house. Joan. Get out of my property. Baby. Get out and don't touch me. Get out! I do not ever want to see you again. Leave, leave. Leave my house. Leave, leave. Get out. Can I talk? Get out. Please. Get out! Can you imagine? Can you imagine this silly ass nigga? This is the audacity for me. What the hell is he doing here? Just calm down. Mr. Ned, he really showed his ugly ass face here again. Babe, just calm down. It's, just calm down. Just calm down, okay? He has gone. Just calm down. It's okay, do something. Can you just imagine? Okay, now he has gone away. It's okay, calm down. Just cheer up, huh?
have you been? Uh, I was at the club. <laughs> no, you were not. I was at the club and you were not there. Yes, I totally forgot. I, I left early because my auntie called that I should come over for something important. So I had to go. Okay. Meanwhile, come on, come and sit down and let me just you. Don't see me all day. Just with me now. What's up? What's happening? <laughs> so, yeah. last night at the club, I met this guy. Okay. Before I knew what was happening, it was all lovey dovey and whatnot. Mm. The guy thought that he had seen a good girl in the club. <laughs> I immediately started feeling pity for him because I was like, by the time I am done dragging his soul and extracting his heart, I'm going to feed it to the dogs. Uh-uh, no. Calm down, bitch. <laughs> Why? Why should I calm down? I mean, if his, if his heart breaks, someone will just come along and fix it. But when his heart is heartless, that one is so much better. Mucheri is a game they want to play. I am all in. Yeah. Meanwhile, okay. that guy Jeff is really trying my patience. Oh, this guy is getting on my nerves. What happened? Even when this guy will not stop calling me. Like he's calling me to glory. I don't understand. What is he saying? What else is he going to say? That he wants to talk and explain things. And I'm like, guy, what, what, what do you want to explain? What do you want to talk about? You want to tell me freshly ma uh, 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 marinated lies that you have kept? W what exactly? I've told him, move on with your life and let me be. Why don't you just block him then? Block him? Dude, I've blocked this guy five different numbers. He's still calling me with different numbers. I'm tired. I'm actually tired because every time I pick this number, he's the one. It's like as if he's stalking me. He's beginning to pester my life. If this thing should continue, me, I'm going to call police for him. Please just do whatever you need to do to keep him off for your peace of mind and sanity. <laughs> but if you ask me, I would say you should just hear him out. I mean, this guy has been trying to explain things. Just hear what he has to say. Maybe everything that happened is not his fault. Girl, what does he want to say again? No, he used to reason this talk now. What does he want to say again? Okay, the fresh lies that he has cooked up. Is that what he wants to tell me? Babes, look, I know that you're angry. And trust me, your anger can be justified. But I also know that you love this guy. Just hear what he has to say and then you can give him your own peace of mind. How is Auntie Mirabel? Auntie Mirabel, she's fine. She's okay. Okay. Well, can we have a fresh up? But, please, just give this in a thought. I've heard you now. I made it quite clear that I don't want to see you here again. So what exactly are you doing here? My love, please, let me, let me just explain what happened. Just hear me out. I beg of you. Get out. Joanne, I... Get out! Babe, you should just hear him out now. He's been coming here for like ever. Just hear what he has to say. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Joanne. The lady in question is Quincy, and I am so sorry that she fought you. She literally blew things out of proportion. Now this is the story. When I got into uni, I was broke. I didn't have a dime. I couldn't even cater for my basic needs. Then I met her. She was rich. You know, she spent a lot of money, helped me out in a couple of ways. She was nice, and we started dating. But along the line, I realized she was married. She lied to me, she didn't even tell me. And I don't do married women. So I had to put a stop to everything. She won't let it go. She was so desperate. And that was how she just started acting funny. 
The day you got a call from her, I went home and she ran off with my phone. That was when she started telling you all manner of things. Look, it wasn't me cheating on you or trying to hurt you. You know, I would not hurt you for any reason. It was just a desperate woman who is not willing to let go. She was blinded by loss because of course we're not even, there's nothing that can work between us. She's married. And we can't have a future because I'm not going to have a future with a married woman. That was all. So please, I beg of you, just forgive me. I, I need you to understand what really happened. This is it. Look, it's fine. I understand, okay? But I need you to know that at this point, me and you were over. There's no us anymore. I've moved on. I'm in a better place now and I, and, and I suggest that you do the same. Come on. Joanne, don't do this, please. I know I screwed up things. I mean, things got screwed up, but just, can you just allow me to fix this, please? Don't, don't just move on like this, please. I beg of you. Jeff, I've done love. I've been there and I've done it and I'm done with it, okay? Look, like I said, I've forgiven you. I've forgiven you with all my heart. But that's it. And I, I also understand, you know, how ladies can be desperate, especially when a guy is under their beneficiary. I understand. I get it. But you see this? This is, this is it. This is, it's over. The only thing that I can offer you, Jeff, and that's if you're okay with it, is my friendship. All right? That's about it. Please, Joanna. Joanna, I love you. And that hasn't changed a bit. Please, don't do this to me. Joanna. I love Jeff, you. I said don't push it. Don't. Stop stressing it, okay? I don't want to be angry with you again. I, I, I don't want to disrespect you any further. But I'm done. There's, no, there's nothing here again, okay? This relationship is over. And quite frankly, I think you need to leave. Actually, I was on my way out too. So, you should leave. And I need you to have it at the back of your mind that... This, again, can never happen. And for whatever friendship that we can have that needs to go from this, if we can be friends, you never, ever can bring up love again. We, we, we want different things now. And I think that we need to respect that. Yes, babe. Definitely. And when next I come, you're going to have to cook for me. Yes. You have to show me how much of a husband material you are. It's not every time we have material, have material. Yes. <laughs> and it better be good. Oh, babe, I'll call you back. Babe. Yes? You're not going out again tonight. No, I'm not in the mood to go out. <laughs> Yvonne. Mm -hmm. These days, you've not been wanting to go out. Your mind is always preoccupied with something else. Something more interesting than going clubbing, having fun, meeting men. What's up with you? I did nothing, no. Just that these days, I don't feel like going out. I just want to stay at home and read. Plus, you know, exams are fast approaching. And my mind still never touched going for that doctor's on low cost. <laughs> Yvonne. <laughs> you that prefer to sort than to read. They're the one talking about paying attention to studies. Um, uh, <laughs> the squabble with that man really humbled you. My dear, you won't understand. You know, if when it comes in life where you have to treat important things like they are actually important, especially when you are broke and tired of sorting. Me? I am tired of sorting. And why sort when I can just study and pass my exams by myself? Babe, I'm tired of beg. Let me just put in the work and pass. 
If for one day somebody will say, Madam, shall you be a computer scientist? Or you answer this question and I cannot answer. I'm like, I don't want that one. Let me study. Huh. Are you savvy? Are you yourself, madam? Are you not tired of all these your clubbies and games? I know you just started, I know you're still shocking, but try to calm down now. Calm down. <laughs> Yvonne, something where I just start. Make I calm down. I gotta go. See you later. I don't tell you. I shall be safe. Bye bye. Don't do pass me, we start. I beg to go. Let me call my baby back. Hi, babes. Yeah, I missed you. Like I just finished talking to you and I'm missing you already. <laughs> what? I feel so happy. I mean, you make me so happy. I didn't know a time would come when I would feel this happy and fulfilled. And I have you to thank for coming into my life. I used to say that I would never fall in love until you came across and I realized that it didn't work out with others just so I could find you. And I'm glad I did. I'm even more glad that I decided to give this a chance. You just changed my mindset. I used to think that all men were the same. But you came into my life and proved me wrong. And I'm really grateful for that. I just pray and hope that our love lasts forever and that nothing would ever come between us. After the way you stressed me before finally accepting me, anything that tries to come between us will not live to tell the tale. That I can promise you. I can't lose you. You never will. What is it? Please, I need your help. With what? I know this may not sound right, but please, I need help with accommodation. Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? You know the place that I am currently staying was gotten for me by Quincy, the lady that I had an affair with. And as it stands now, I already let her know that I can't do this anymore. That I'm in love with another person. You know, so she's just been acting funny. She asked me to vacate the house. She froze my accounts. You know, it's been really terrible for me. I need your help. I'm currently stranded as I speak to you right now. I know you, you have a spare room where you stay. And I beg of you, if you could just let me stay there for a while. I'm trying to get myself together. You know, one of my friends is trying to help me get a job so that I can support myself. Please, Joan, help me if you can. I beg you. Look, I'm not promising you anything, but I'll see what I can do. All right, bye. Of course, he can stay till he finds his feet. Stay. Really? Here? Yeah. Come on, we have a lot of unoccupied rooms, so it's totally fine. Come on, me, I'm not comfortable with that arrangement, too. Babe. Come on, babe. This is my brother's house and he's not even in the country. So I don't see anything that is stopping us from helping out. And besides, you said he would just be here for some months if he finds his own place. So it's totally fine. Babe, to be a man is not easy. You see that gender? They have a lot on their head. So let's just help out whoever we can and now that we can. 
Okay, now if you say so. Thanks, anyways. Thanks, anyway, with that, your kind face. I bet you pass me remote, you boring girl. Let's do something. Give me, let's watch something. Give me. That might be your friend, you boring ass girl. <laughs> I'm coming. So, uh, this is the room you'll be staying for the time being. Uh, make yourself comfortable. If you need anything, um, I'll be right down. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate the fact that you had to talk to your friend for me. It means a lot to me. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, it has. Well, that's good. Now let the real game begin. What are you talking about? He will see the other side of me. The body he made. <laughs> he betrayed me, right? It's time to return the favor. I mean, Yvonne, I'm going to be parading men in and out of this house. Right before his eyes. So he will see what it feels like to be betrayed by someone that loves you. <laughs> uh, 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 babes now, what is it? Don't do that. I thought you had forgiven this guy. Eh? I even thought you wanted me to help him because you were considering giving your relationship with him a second chance. What went to the fact that everything that happened wasn't entirely his fault? Babes, look, for this guy to leave everything that he's enjoying to come here, it should give you a clue that he really means well for you. And it really takes a responsible guy to do that. Just give this a thought, please. Okay, 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 Yvonne. <laughs> I'm seriously confused. I'm very, very confused as to what is going on with you. What is it? What, what, what's the problem? What, what do you mean? When did you suddenly become a born again that I'm not aware of? Oh, please, come off it. Something ridiculous. <laughs> now, you are the one being ridiculous. Babe, you've totally changed the narrative. You've been acting strange. In fact, are you even Yvonne anymore? Because this is not the Yvonne I used to know. Babe, stop that. It's me. Let's just say I decided to embrace reality and believe in love and the good life that comes with it. Oh. <laughs> what? Love kill you there. Really love. <laughs> no, this one now. Just... I'm telling you now, you won't listen to me. You know they do pass me over. Oh. Sweetheart, how are you? I'm fine. I'm doing well. I'm just here missing you. I'm missing your, your sweet touches and everything. Yes, baby. You know you're the only one that knows how to make me have a good time and turn me on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because last time was so mind-blowing. My God, you're so good. In fact, I've been meaning to ask, do you give lessons? Because I think a friend of mine needs it. I mean, that nigga cannot get his this thing to work. <laughs> you know what I mean now? Why are you being like this? Yes. Ah, I can't wait to, to, to see you, baby. Like, I'm going to do so many naughty things to you. Mm-hmm. 
But before I come and see you this time, you must give me that money. Mm-hmm. Okay. When are you back? Next week. Okay. Okay, next week is not so bad. I can't wait for you. All right, my baby. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> Oh, baby, how are you? Yes, yes, I know you called me last night. Uh, you know, I was in my mom's place and you know how the network can be. Yeah, I couldn't even do anything. Oh, oh, okay. In 30 minutes time, the same hotel? Okay, all right. Okay, let me go and get ready and see you soon, okay? All right, bye. You keep flirting and playing around with different guys. What's up? You, you're way bigger than this. Mm. <laughs> Last I checked, you do not have any right to question me, okay? I do not owe you any explanation on how I choose to live my life. You are just a friend and you are in no position to question me, okay? Wait, what, 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 what is this? What is this? Is it? Is this jealousy? No, yeah, I'm not jealous. Ah, okay. <laughs> like I said, I am not your girlfriend. And you should stay in your lane and do not interfere with my affairs, okay? Hey, look at me. Yeah, <laughs> I am a free bird. And I would do with my freedom what I didn't fit. Joanne, Joanne. Hi. Hi. Are you okay? Well, I'm, I'm trying to be. Trust me, I understand what you're going through. The fact that you still love my friend and you have to watch her live the kind of life she's living right now. Honestly, I find it hard to believe that she can turn into the person she is now. She's not. She's not that kind of person. I just, I just believe that she's too broken. But trust me, it's just a matter of time. She'll be back to normal. Just relax and don't think about it too much. I wish it was that easy, honestly. I'm trying. This is a girl that I genuinely love. Now I have to watch her frolic around with different guys. It's even more saddening to think that I probably was the one that caused all this. No, no, don't say that. It's not your fault. Trust me. Look, everyone will be just fine. It's just a matter of time. If you both are destined to be together, then things would work out by itself. But if not, you're just going to have to accept her like a man and move on. Just let her explore the part that she believes is the best for her. Thank you so much, Yvonne. I mean, at first, I I wasn't sure you would allow me to stay here. Yeah, because the vibe that I, I thought you had was, I don't like this guy. I think this guy is not for real. I think this guy wants to just leave my friend on and serve her breakfast, you know, but this is you advising me right now. This is you being so nice to me. I appreciate it, but I'm just wondering. It's kind of weird. What's going on? <laughs> Nothing is going on, trust me. But I'm not going to lie to you. At first, 
I actually didn't like you. But I got to know you and you know that. I can tell that your intentions towards my friend are pure and genuine. So why not? I really wish she sees that too, honestly. Trust me, she will. Most definitely she will. Meanwhile, if there is anything you need, do not hesitate to let me know. Okay? Thank you once again, Yvonne. You're welcome. I'll head to the kitchen right now. Alright. Be good, okay? I'll try. I'm coming. Stop playing. I will never play with your heart. Since the first time I laid my eyes on you, I just knew we were meant to be together. Even I want to spend eternity with you. I want you to be the Beyonce to my Jay-Z. Will you marry me? Yes, yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. What? what? What exactly are you talking about? Babe, I'm in love. <laughs> you can't be serious. I'm serious. No, you can't be serious. How can you? You of all people be in love, how? 
up until now, I'm still as surprised as you are. Babe, I didn't know how it happened. Trust me, I tried my possible best to restrict it, but it took me unawares. It swept me off my feet and I felt hopelessly in love. Babe, I couldn't help it but stay in love. I saw love in its true form, in its full glory. I found everything I truly desired in relationship and love in this guy and just when I least expected it. Baby asked me to marry him. He proposed to me and I accepted it. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Is this the reason for the change in your attitude? Is this the reason why <laughs> you started going to church instead of the club? Is this the reason why you stopped messing around with guys and started preaching to me? <laughs> Is this why you became a totally different person? Is this why? Yes. I couldn't tell you about it because I knew that I was instrumental in turning you to who you are right now. Oh. Um. I wouldn't say you betrayed me. <laughs> Rather, you chose your own path. And I'm also not going to say that you led me into the lifestyle that I'm living right now. Because you didn't. My experience did. Okay? <laughs> you had nothing to do with it. But I'm not going to say I'm not disappointed in you. Truly. But like I said, it's your life to live. Okay? I wish you all the best. Okay? Excuse me. Hi, babe. You miss me already? <laughs> I miss you more. Babe, babe, I'm sorry. That's you, yeah? Making out with guys. Not two, but three. A foursome. The fair one is my brother. What the hell were you thinking? What the hell were you thinking? And you shamelessly give them your consent to record the video. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It was a mistake. I, I, I was hurt. I was naive. I was ignorant. I really didn't know what I was doing. I thought that was the best life, but I was wrong, baby. I'm sorry. Someone hurt you. And you thought the best revenge was eating every banana you see peeled? How does that get back at the person that hurt you? How does that heal you? How? Listen, listen, please, I'm sorry. Baby, just forgive me. I mean, I was never lucky with love until you came around. You came around that just changed everything. Baby, this was my past. You made me a better person. I know you're so disappointed in me, but please just forgive me. I'm sorry. Wilson, babe, I never meant for any of this to happen. Please forgive me. Baby, please. I need my space. Wilson! Wilson, please!
Yvonne, why are you crying? Yvonne, what is it? Did somebody harass you? What happened? Yvonne, Yvonne, what's the problem? Why are you crying? Oh, you know you can talk to me about anything, Abby. Did somebody harass you? What happened? Babe, I think Wilson is going to call off the engagement. Why? Why would he do that? Babe, I think he's going to leave me. What happened? What happened between the two of you? <laughs> what happened? When I was being a buddy, I had, I had something to do with three guys at the same time. And one of them was his brother. And the person that recorded the video was his kid cousin. And when he announced our engagement, his brother broke up that he couldn't marry me. And when he asked why, he, he sent him the video. Hi. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh. Jesus. Baby, no, no, I don't know what to do. I feel, I feel so messed up. And baby, you know I love Wilson so much. I don't want to lose him. Ah, Haba, Yvonne. Why would you make that kind of mistake? Why would you do something like that? Did you just, did you say his kid brother? Hey, Jesus. Baby, stop now. I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I was, I was, I feel like a typical buddy that I was. I had nothing to lose. Typical <laughs> buddy. Baby, I feel like trash. You needed to see what, what went down in this video. It's not nice at all. Hey, Jesus. Oh. Okay, you know what? Calm down. Eh? It's not the end of the world. I mean, if we go about judging all the women in the world about their past, no woman is going to get married. Hmm? We all have our past and some we are not proud of, but we have to move. Or oh, just come here. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, well, you're going to be fine, okay? Just put yourself together. And we'll get past this. I promise, okay? to get a hold of yourself. Why are you acting like the, the, the world has ended? I mean, why are you acting like this is the end of the world? Okay, uh, sorry, sorry, eh? Calm down, take it easy. Everything is going to sort itself out. Are you sure? Yeah. 
Of course. Come here. Come here, it's okay. Hmm? I mean, you can't say that you didn't have a clue that you lived a certain type of lifestyle. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Hmm? Just give him time. Give him time to process all that has happened. Okay? He said I should come to his house. See? See, I told you that everything will sort itself out. Go out, just go and talk to him. I knew he wasn't picking your call because he was angry. Let me hmm? go and prepare. Okay. Hi. It's the best way they advise me. Hi, Chief. Yes, I'm fine. Are you back? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Just give me like an hour. Let me freshen up. I'll come see you soon. All right. Bye. <laughs> I need you to listen to me right now, Joanne, please. You can't keep doing this to me. What are you doing? What exactly is this? Joanne. Joanne, I am in love with you, you know that. Joanne, I am dead. Look, I'm finished. I can't take this anymore. Please, just forgive me. Just, just give me another chance already. I beg of you, please. I've told you and I will tell you again. Nothing, nothing, and I repeat, nothing can ever happen between us again. Do you understand me? Move on with your life! Ha! Joanne, Joanne, this is not the Joanne that I knew. This is not the Joanne that I have always known. This is, not, this is wickedness, Joanne. Joanne, I know that deep down inside you can hear me. Deep down you feel me. What did I do wrong? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ready to make amends. I'm distracted. I'm not focused. I've lost concentration. Joanne, I can't. This breathing now. Is... Whatever, guy. Joanne. Whatever. Just do something with your life for crying out loud. Don't you think this is pathetic? I've told you. It's over. Joanne, please. Please! and cope, knowing fully what we've done dirty stuff with my brothers. My cousin watches that video with my kid brother every time. How do I face them? Some of my extended family members know about it too. How do I introduce you to them as my wife-to-be? Why did you even do this in the first place? This is so messy. This is so freaking messy. I care about you so much. But I can't do this anymore. I invited you over here today to officially. To officially call it quits. We're done. We can't be together anymore. I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to break your heart, but I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this. This is beyond me. I'm sorry, but we're done. Sorry. 
I'm sorry for everything. Stop crying now, please. Stop crying. All you've done since you got back is, is, is cry. But why would I cry, babe? He took the ring. He took his ring back. Ha! This man, they will never cease to amaze us. I mean, why would he call off the engagement like that? Babe, don't do that. Don't. Don't try to push the blame to the man. This was entirely my fault. I brought this upon myself with the choices I made with my life. Wilson, Wilson was a sweet guy. He loved me genuinely. If only I hadn't decided to be a buddy, this, all this wouldn't have happened. Babe, stop blaming yourself. Eh? It's okay. Eh? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that this is happening to you, okay? Oh, look, please, I don't want you to ever feel this pain. I don't want it for you. It's so painful. It hurts a lot. So my friend, please retrace your steps. Please. I miss you, sir. I know, I know, I know. I know that you do, okay? <laughs> if he loves you so much, he would come back. It's in the rain. How will he come back? It's okay. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> Stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. <laughs> what is it? Wilson just texted me. He said his cousin has taken down the video. Thank God. At least one crisis has been averted. Don't worry, everything is going to be fine, Yvonne. Oh, babe, I miss him. I know. I miss I him know. so much. It's okay. Sorry. I know, but stop crying, please. Huh? Everything is going to be fine. Alright? I want to go squat with a friend of mine. I don't understand. I thought you said you were going to be here for a while and that you got a job, so you're saving up for your own apartment. So why the sudden change? Why do you have to leave when you have a comfortable space here? Even I'm, I'm going to thank you especially for allowing me to stay here. It means a lot to me. But you see, uh, it's not about comfort anymore. It's not just about physical space. I need peace of mind. I need sound mental health. I'm losing it. I can't keep staying here and watching her act like this every day. It causes me daily heartbreak. It's very traumatizing. I think the best thing is just to stay far away from her. It's going to help me heal faster. I understand. So when do you intend on leaving? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Thank you once again. You're welcome. Thank you. <sighs> Do you watch this program? Oh yeah, sure, let's watch.
Hmm? You know that Jeff has finally decided to leave. Oh. That's good for him, I guess. Are you sure you don't want to give it everything? Are you sure you don't want to give your relationship a second chance? I'm a hundred percent sure. I mean, if he wants to leave, the door is open. All right, I respect your decision. Well, you should know that you're very lucky. I mean, you still have love coming for you after everything. <sighs> Babes, if I had another chance at love, trust me, I would don't play with it. Who's that? Wait, what's up? I've been thinking about this all night. And... Jeff... I just wanted to say that I am sorry. I'm sorry for everything that I have done to you. I'm sorry for everything that I have put you through. I'm sorry for the attitude. But Jeff, you really, really hurt me. Like, of all the men that I've actually been disappointed by, you, you, yours was different. Because I genuinely believed that you loved me. And now that I know the whole story, I just wanted to hurt you back. I wanted you to feel the way I felt. I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm really, really sorry, like... Come here. It's fine. Okay. It's, it's giving. <laughs> Bro, bro, you need to see, guy, you need to see, I killed it. You need to trust me now, come on. Now my team do this. <laughs> no, 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 how, how I'm going to do it is, the next time I'll be, calm down, let me talk. You're, you're just sounding like, you don't even know how it is. Hold on, let me call you, let me call you back. It's been such a long time. Hi. Hi, how have you been? Been good. What are you doing around my estate? Oh. I came, I came to see a friend somewhere close by. Okay. You look good. <laughs> Thank you. You look good too. So it's been a while. You haven't been coming around. Yeah, been caught with um, school. I mean, you know. Okay, but you should come around sometime. I mean, it's been a long time, and it wouldn't be bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's was good to see you. I'll be on my way. Okay. See ya. Make sure you come, though. Okay. Hey. Hi. Hey. How did your day go? Huh, my dear. All I can say is that my day went well. Okay. Um, there's some food in the kitchen or courtesy of Jess. Oh, I see. <laughs> Baddest chef in the world. Please. <laughs> okay, so I'll just freshen up and do justice to that. While you love birds, continue what you were doing. Yeah. Thank you. Come on. We all make mistakes, baby. I made mine and you made yours. It's fine, yeah? I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> hey, what was that? <laughs> oh my God. Nice building. <laughs> 
How are you? I'm good. See, so you kept your words. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. So, what can I get you? Uh, water is fine. Sure, I'll be right back. All right. looking as good as ever. Uh, well. So tell me, how is everything? How is family? How is mom, dad, everybody? Everybody's fine. Okay. Mom and dad traveled for a vacation. Oh, yes. they're really enjoying. <laughs> no. So tell me about your girlfriend. How is she? Girlfriend. Yes. I mean, I tried relationship, but it didn't work out. Oh, sorry about that. It's fine. I, I also did try, but things didn't work out because of my past mistakes and here we are. I know. You know? Yes, I do. Okay. Yvonne. You know, there's something about true love. It never leaves. Thoughts of you still linger in my heart. After everything that happened? Yes, after everything. Even when I still want you. Look, Dylan, I, I don't think I'm ready for this yet. But let's just see how things go. Wait, wait. Is that a yes or a no? It's a maybe. It's a maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take <laughs> that. <laughs> so tell me how it's cool.